channel it's adani and this is adani's family mama come and say hi come on wait <coughs> tell them hi hi say my name is sophie okay yeah, go on. <coughs> come and say hi clay see he's not very close so, yeah. hi say my name is clay <laughs> say bye, bye. It's okay, it's okay. Um, so welcome back to the channel. No, 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 no. Welcome back to the channel, and this is Adani's family. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do me well by subscribing so much. So, guys, see my eyes. I've had I've literally been crying. You know, we guys be like, Why have you been crying? Like, yo, you guys already seen the title. Um, and yeah, that is how it is. So, um, um, sometime like this yesterday, I was with my husband and he told me he was going to. We were going to be traveling and let me move this here please and um he have actually been doing this kind of travel like most of the time but this time around he was going to stay like one week plus i actually going to going to be feeling it this time around because i am pregnant and these children are just toddlers okay they're just small small so and i don't I don't have anyone helping me. It's actually like a ringing button on this channel. Like I don't stay with any help. Like it's just me basically doing it on my own. It's okay with my husband. And now my husband is not around. He's, he has traveled. He's gonna be staying on this transit. Is a is is an office. You know, travel. They, they went for sports and he's gonna be staying for like one week. And. I'm beginning to pity myself like yesterday i woke up with a lot of pains on my body like all my joints was paining me and yesterday was shiloh first day in shiloh i took my children no, no. No, no. Eh, eh. i took my children to the church and you know how it was taking these children to church they don't want to sleep on time and then i came back again i had to start arranging i had to start bathing then normally now my husband they do that one. now he, they, he helps me to bath these children then i'll wear them clothes but now i have to bath i have to wear i have to wash the clothes i have to oh my god guys it was something i have to arrange the house i have to, I have to feed them i have to my husband normally helps me to feed them in the morning before going to work then me i'll do the rest Rest, but it's just me taking all the responsibility and and he just brought to me like i give kudos to every single mother out there like you are trying like you are trying i know like you did try not only to this why i don't do this work at the film you know it's not like he does every single thing for me but his presence alone naturally gives me energy his presence alone naturally gives me energy, you know, when he's there and then I want to do this work. I want to arrange the bed so that he will not say the bed is dirty. I want to sweep the room you know, so that he will not say the bed is scattered. I want to sweep the room. I want to sweep the room so that he will not say that the room is scattered. I want to cook the food to a normal taste so that he will not say that there's no food or you did not cook or there's no, this food does not taste well. So I will literally want to do everything right because my husband is at home. But now he's not at home and, you know, even me to stand up. I've, yesterday night I ate Indomie. This morning I had rice. The rice that I cooked since yesterday is still remaining. Me and my children are still eating. In fact, as I'm talking to you, the rice is still remaining. Like, it will come be seen out two days now. We don't eat them. Sure, you get. So, and I literally. I'm not even warming this food before eating, but when my husband is around, I have to warm because he does not eat cold food. Like I have to warm. I'm used even myself. I want to warm yeah. it so that I will feel, you know, that um, like get so. 
but usually now i'm just so lazy in doing every single thing and it's not just that i'm so lazy because i'm just the one doing it alone i because i'm just the one doing it alone so when i finish this work i finish this work i'll just be so tired to even do the next one so it's not really easy at all <laughs> you know they easy oh wallahi you know and so it's not really easy at all easy call it work it's not easy hmm. so yeah so so he actually left me with um the children he left his <laughs> he left his heavily pregnant wife and two toddlers oh god oh my god oh my god i didn't mean it's not official or it's not something that is compulsory my brothers and my sister is gonna not going anywhere <laughs> it's not gonna go anywhere because this work is not easy if he wants to go he should bring someone to come and stay with me he is not gonna be doing that so i wanted to go to my father's house bro because something's happening in my area my area is not that safe but i don't did lying I started to stay back for some personal reasons left to me alone and yo i'm just here i'm just fine it's like this vlog i'm gonna be combining it okay i'm just going to be combining it because i feel it's not going to be i, I feel this this video is not going to be long and i want it to be so so long and i'm checking back to the clinic today i'm going back to the hospital the nurse asked me to come and see her today um so today i'm going back to the hospital and after going back to the hospital i'm still packing these children no hmm. after when i come back from the hospital i'm still going back to the church around seven but i'm going around 6 30 because because as I, I was outside yesterday i didn't like it i want to go inside the church tomorrow um and Yes, I want to get a nice position for myself. It's called Shiloh. I don't understand. So there's cold outside. So I want to go inside the church. Ah, my children were feeling sleepy. I think my husband was sitting very close to me. It would have helped me to carry one. But I, that outside, I could not put something for them to sleep because I don't know what is going to bite them outside. So um, I want to go into the church so that I'll sit close to the wall so that anyone that sleeps, I'll just put something on the floor for the person to sleep. So yes, and um, before church close, we take our bike, our bike, back to the house, and you know it's around seven to eight nine or so. Okay, so it's just um two hours service. Or so it's, it's Shiloh twenty twenty three. So yes, and that has been my you know my story for this period. I'm gonna see update you guys. I'm gonna make a vlog on how I live without you know without my husband getting used to it already. <laughs> getting used to it already <laughs> i don't pray to get used to it too. but yeah i'm adjusting to this situation okay so thank you so much for watching guys i love you all and i will see you on my next one bye